Hello there everyone, it's Diddy here and I'm gonna bring you some more 2v2 arena commentary. I just love doing this and we just went uh, with Gimli had an axe, it's the Shadow Priest I'm with. So yeah, this is gonna be 2v2 with the Shadow Priest arena commentary. And yeah, it's just basically Gim Gimli had an axe alt. I don't know if you guys know him by now, if you don't I'll put uh, his link on the description below and just in case you guys want to check it out is the warlock that I usually play a lot of arena but now we're getting some conquests on his halt and yeah and we had some pretty fun games that I really want to share and so I will commentate because you know I really like to do this and yeah so basically we're with the frost mage and the beast mastery hunter it's a lot of burst um, it's a comp with a lot of burst. If you guys notice, he pops Stampede and I try to control the pets as much as I could with Intimidation Shout, you know, fear them all, to try to, you know, turn off some a bit of uh, pressure, but it didn't work out really good. My partner died, but so did Hunter, so now I'm with a Frost Mage, just by myself, we're almost at full health here. And uh, yeah, as you saw right there, I got rooted with Frost Nova and unfortunately I do not pick Safeguard for now, but I'm really considering going. I pick Mass Spell Reflection because I just like it a lot, you know, just as you see right here, I'm sorry, uh, you know, I put the banner to try to intervene, but it doesn't break roots without the Safeguard and I'm really considering going for it, I think it's really good. But anyways, um, spell, Mass Spell Reflection, I like it a lot because it abranges the whole party and really nice especially against warlocks and all as you see I'm pretty pretty low health and he's basically at full health but I didn't pop my uh, defensive cooldowns I popped them right now uh, I really don't know why to be honest but it's all good I didn't die by like 1 HP or something but yeah he just pops ring of frost and I pummel it immediately the last thing that I want to do right now is get stuck on a stun you know on a CC or something I don't want to do that because that will be my death so he tries to polymorph right now and I'm reflected just because of what I said but of course I don't want him to get health from the polymorph so I immediately break it it just for it doesn't affect me because if I get caught in a CC it's pretty bad for me but I got caught in a in a deep freeze right there but obviously he just put some so evocate and yeah a we won this rogue one. and the fire mage now this comp is a comp that I I think it counters ours a little bit because of course the mage can do a lot of burst well the rogue can control really good the priest and you know stop a lot of off heals so anyways my priest opens with halo to, in attempt to discover a stealth one and it did discover the mage and I just charge right in and just pop my cooldowns immediately to be honest this is because I really want to get the mage down as soon as possible because I don't want him to be you know bursting not at all, like not even at the beginning, so yeah, uh, I try, he blocks, he did a really good block, of course, and as you see, my my priest is getting quite tunneled right here, he's getting a lot of damage, so is the mage, but the mage tries, he can escapes and they get the kill on my priest. Now, uh, I really want to finish off the mage so I don't give up, even he, when he blocks, he, re he tries to kite me really good, and of course the rogue helps a lot with the stunts, but so I am. I don't want. Definitely don't want to let the mage do evocation. So I just stun right here and execute. Now it's just me and the rogue. He stuns me. This is pretty interesting actually. Uh, he pops combat readiness and I don't know why he popped combat readiness and then kites me around the pillar. <laughs> he should have saved uh, the combat readiness for when we were more physical in physical confront. So he sapped. And uh, I just leave out with a Berserker Rage and I just, you know, I get Thunderclap and I get a Lucky Thunderclap. So yeah, I kind of, you know, noticed that it would be close. So yeah, I, and I got him discovered, which basically uh, cost him a stun, I believe. So yeah, he's tried to get away, but no good for him, because this is one. <laughs> okay, so now this is versus a Fire Mage and an Asman Shaman. It's definitely a rare, but interesting composition. It's rare because of the announcement shaman, at least from my experience, I don't really see them a lot in arenas, but definitely not a, an opponent to be taken, you know, underestimated. Because if they know how to play good, they can definitely bring ton of damage and actually some pretty nice utility. But I decide to, decide to stick with the mage because I really don't want the fire mage to be hard casting and bursting, I really want to put some pressure now. 
This match wasn't really anything special, but I think it was a lot of fun to include and share because as you see, the mage was almost dying right there, he got back health, and now he's almost dying right here, he got a little bit health, and now he blocked, and now who's with, you know, low health? It's me, I was almost dying, but I got the full fear on the shamey, which, you know, brings us the victory. So this was a really fun game that I want to share to show how a game can begin, you know, from to to us and then to them and then it just changed to us again it was really fun and really dynamic and fast so yeah guys <laughs> I really wanted to include this one it was a lot of fun okay guys this is the last game for this video and <laughs> it's really <laughs> not that special but it was really really funny as you will see uh, <laughs> if you stick around and you know watch this match so it's basically versus a frost death knight and a wind Walker monk a really bursty composition actually but I just spot that the monk really has, you know, really bad gear, so I just pop the cooldowns immediately and try to finish off the match right away. So, but you know, the monks are really good at kiting and he does his job as you see, he really kites me good there. And uh, yeah, I just try to fear him right now, he disarmed me and he kinda gets away, uh, you know, for my cooldowns for the burst. But he's already in execute range, so it should be no problem. Anyways, he kites, and I still want to go there, I still want to, know. I want to finish him, really. So I just charge, pop my defensive cooldowns because I take a lot of damage, Deathline pulls me, and I'm still decided to go to the monk. But now, the weird stuff happens. Like, it's a, it says out of range and he just, you know, keeps running through the wall. <laughs> my priest pulled me, and at this point we're really, you know, what the fuck just happened? But... Yeah, okay, so we just kind of focus on the Death Knight for now, because we thought that the, the monk was glitchy, I, I don't know, we're, we're really confusing at this point. So yeah, we just try to hit the Death Knight, actually, you know, they, they actually played good, surprisingly good for what kind of happened, and right now you can see that his partner actually got disconnected, and <laughs> yeah, as you see, like, we finish off the Death Knight now, and we now we're like, okay... Now what? He, he got disconnected, what we do now, we just wait, so we're kind of like searching for where he is and all, and we're just so confused, this was really funny, we left our asses off and started thinking, oh boy, what if this would happen to us, man, imagine it and all, so yeah, eventually here's the monk, and yeah guys, this was it, <laughs> uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, you know, a like or, you know, maybe even a subscribe will mean a lot to me. I honestly do hope that you guys really enjoyed it. And yeah, thanks a lot for everyone who's supporting me. It's It's been amazing. And yeah, guys, I guess that's it. And see you next time.